Hello everyone, it's Kelly here, and today we are going to be talking about the topic of community safety. And so we're specifically going to look at common community places to be aware of and what they're for. So you guys might recognize that big building behind me. So I'm actually over at Harrington today. I figured since hospitals are one of the places I'm going to talk about, that this would be a good place to shoot this video. So let's get started on talking about some common community safety places that we can think of. So the first one is the fire station. So this is the place where fire trucks and other firefighting equipment, such as hoses and personal protective equipment are stored. Firefighters are people who are trained to respond to emergencies of many kinds. Firefighters can be called to put out a fire like a house fire, brush or forest fire. They can respond to the scene of a car accident and even determine the cause of a fire. Some cities and towns have full-time firefighters, while small towns may only have a volunteer fire department. When a city and town has a full-time fire department, firefighters actually live at the fire station while they're working and um, firefighters often work over 40 hours a week. Now next, let's talk about the police station. So this is a place where police officers and other law enforcement workers are stationed out of. So police station has office for workers, interview rooms, and holding cells for people who have been arrested. The police station has equipment for police officers to use, such as police vehicles and other personal protective equipment. Now, police officers also respond to emergencies of all kinds. They prevent crime, arrest criminals, and protect the public. Now, um, some cities and towns have their own police force, while other small towns may use state police for assistance. Each area has police officers that are on duty at all times, so 24-7. Now the hospital, which is where we are now, is the place where people go for various kinds of medical treatment. So people might go for emergency care, surgery, for pregnancy, anything like that. Now hospitals employ a variety of trained staff that can include doctors, nurses, administrative staff, specialists, security guards, and food staff. People who receive care at a hospital can go there for a couple hours to a few weeks or more, depending on the type of care that they need. All hospitals have emergency rooms where people can go if they need emergency medical treatment. And once people are stabilized in the emergency room, they are transferred home or to another medical department for further care. <clears throat> now next, let's talk about a bank. So this is a place where people go to deposit and withdraw money from a bank account. Banks are also places where people can request a loan for a purchase such as a house or a car. Banks have people working in them. Um, such as tellers and other administrative staff, and money in banks is kept secure in a safe. How about a town hall? That's our next one. So this is a place where town offices are, along with meeting um, rooms for places of government. So at a town, we might see town clerks, collector of taxes, assessor, building commissioner, and town manager. Some offices in the town hall may be open consistently Monday through Friday, while others may be only open during special hours. Town halls um, have important documents in them, such as birth certificates that you can request. Now, each of these places have specific phone numbers that you can call if you need assistance. Often the easiest way to find this number is to look for it online. But if there is an emergency, you can dial 911 for assistance, and this will ensure that you get help as soon as possible. Now, what are some other community locations that we can think of? How about gas stations, where we are able to fill up our cars with gas so that we can keep driving? Um, grocery stores, where we get our food and supplies that we need. Pharmacies, where we can get different kinds of medication department stores, you know, where we can get clothes um, and other items that we need. Gyms, where people can go to work out. 
movie theaters to go see a movie, community centers, maybe where there's different events in your town or city, restaurants where we can go out to eat. You know, these are all different kinds of community places that we might see as we're driving around or that we might need to go to when we need something. Or maybe when we want to, um, you know, have a, a service completed. So being aware of these community locations is important. So as you're out driving around, you know, take note of them. Or if, you know, you need to find one, look it up online so you can research where it is, their phone number, the hours that they're open. And if you don't know where a community location is, you can tell someone that you trust who can help you. So we hope that you guys enjoy the activities that we posted for you today, that it's a good reminder of different community locations and um, what they are important for. And um, think of other ones that are not on our list because there are certainly a lot of community locations that we access that um, are helpful to us. Have a great day.